Hi there. So for this question, we are asked to find out the area of the triangle ABC, where the vertices A, B and C were given by these position vectors respectively. And we have to use vector products. So you can see the method that I've used here, and the answer turns out to be a half root 6. I've put unit squared purely because it's an area. Now I'll explain the method that I've used and other alternative methods. So what I've done is picked up on the fact that the area of a triangle then is a half the product of two sides times the sine of an included angle. And as you can see, I've taken the sides AB and AC and the included angle BAC, this one here. You could take any two sides and an included angle and obviously you should end up with exactly the same result. Now, when you take your two sides and do the sine of the included angle, this part here is the vector cross product between the vectors AB and AC. And so what I need to do is take the magnitude of this, because remember this gives me back a vector. So I've written the magnitude lines in red, just so that uh, you can distinguish them from the determinant, which is written in black. So we do AB crossed with AC in the usual way. AB, remember, is the vector B minus A, and AC is the vector C minus A. So I've written those vectors in order down there and worked out the determinants then. And so it comes out to this result, and now I need to find the magnitude of that vector. And so working out the magnitude, you can see it's 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared, all rooted, and then I've got half of this result. And as you can see, it comes out to a half root 6. So do experiment by taking two other sides and the sine of the included angle for further practice and check out that you get exactly the same result. Okay?